But I would say that I believe that somebody that was knowledgeable would be able to um, interpret the information I have provided to at least uh, have some kind of you know, reasonable interpretation of what they think that might mean with respect to the human body. So I circumvented your question, but not in a way that I wouldn't do again. Um, uh, anything specific about the human body, uh, I will not be answering it directly. I, I will describe in detail the laboratory work. And, and here's another comment, okay? And that is, if you will get doctors on board with this institute, I want them. I need their help. So if you will get doctors that will put their name to their work, and they have an interest in this, then hopefully those doctors uh, can answer your question specifically. But there are very specific rules and laws regarding prescription of medicine, which are well-founded. And we're going to have to have that representation. Uh, for the community to um, get the answers that it needs. And I seek out those people um, to participate and join. And hopefully we may have some help with that starting in the future. I do hope so. Um, but uh, that's where it has to come from. Okay, now if you're willing, if you're willing to not type for a second, <laughs> um, I can get to the next one if I can find it. Okay, that's there. And we're going to shut down pretty soon on this, but I wanted to find at least another question. Wait, it's still moving. <laughs> yes, thanks, Lori. It's still moving. Uh, and then, okay, let's see if, well, that's somebody talking to someone else. All right, well, we're doing okay. It looks like I made it. You can type all you want and mess up the screen all you want, because it looks like I made it through at least most of them. I may have missed some. Um, but at least... That's a start. I'm not trying to neglect anybody. I'm just it, at this point. It has to be a specific question because I had my dialogue, and I'm trying to give. You know, part of the purpose of these is to give you the opportunity um, to frame a question and ask it. I don't have all the answers, but at least give you the chance to do so. And we might have plenty of time to talk. Otherwise. Uh, but I'm after trying to answer your questions. And part of this comes from my own guilt complex, all right? But we have not been able to keep up with the emails at all. Terribly negligent, but not not willingly. We just do not have the staff and time. So we're not able to keep up with the questions and, and inquiries that people are making. Okay? Um, all right, so I'm going to start um, trailing this down now for tonight. And uh, a couple things to a couple things to mention. One would be that that next topic, if I take it on the next time, uh, this, like I say, this was sort of a preview to a paper I'm writing, and there's one more preview. Maybe I get the paper done before, maybe I don't, just having that much time. But that next subject that we didn't get to cover tonight has to do with certain trials, which what you would call a specific set of conditions, trials that are being run um, on these cultures and certain uh, results, both the results and questions that have emerged from those trials. And that's a significant subject, I think, and so we'll be talking about that. The uh, next thing that I'd like to mention to you, two more things I'd like to mention to you here. Uh, one would be that the Institute is uh, putting its weight um, and effort behind um, developing and holding a conference a uh, web-based web conference um, at an international level um, regarding, uh, call it the the uh, the aggregate and comprehensive research over the last uh, 12 years and the evolution of information beyond myself. This is not just about me or the institute, but the institute is is spearheading. Uh, this initiative to get this conference going, where the research related to the aerosol work, uh, as well as the biological work, uh, will be presented to the public somewhat in the same vein that we're, we're doing right now, um, where we have uh, active involvement by an audience, uh, hopefully across the world. That's our idea. And uh, again, it's not just the institute that is... Uh, is to be involved in this. It's just that I think we're spearheading the idea and seeking out whether there's interest in this. So 
I guess the first thing to do would be express that this is our intention. Uh, there's no definite time schedule, but right now the idea would be uh, towards the fall of this year. Uh, we need um, uh, help and resources to make this happen. Uh, we'd like to know how much interest there is. Um, if you uh, contact, uh, you know, there's there's an individual by the name of Calvin Key here, but. Uh, um, you know, it can be made available to you. And he's organizing people that have an interest. Uh, from my understanding, he has about a thousand folks already just in a month of time. But if you're interested, um, let them know uh, or let us know in some way, and we'll try to get you steered uh, towards where that information can be organized. And uh, I will, along with the latter subject, uh, ask for your support and for your help in these objectives. Uh, this is one. Uh, the conference is one. Um, it, it will need resources and it will need help to make it happen. Uh, the second is that if you'll take a look at the Institute website, that's uh, at carnicominstitute.org, over the next few days, maybe Lori already had a chance to do it, but there will be a list of items of need um, with respect to the Institute and its future work. And this will include uh, such things as facilities. Uh, uh, we need facilities uh, to do this work. We need equipment. We need staff. We need money. Uh, we need these things uh, for this work to continue. Uh, most of us have no idea how limited uh, the time is for this work to be done. And I will tell you that it is totally and completely inadequate what is being done. I can't even begin. Um, to do the work that is on my mind and what needs to be done. So if you're willing, take a look at that list as it appears on the website so that you can understand that these are the real things that are needed um, to uh, start making a bigger dent in this. Uh, we have to start uh, operating on a bigger scale um, than has happened in the past, and we need to have uh, involvement uh, and funding and resources at a grander level uh, for things to go further because the demands on most of our individual lives are increasing. They're not decreasing. And that's certainly the case uh, for me. I have very limited time to do work, let alone uh, write up the work. So, so we need help is what I'm saying. Um, you judge what you want to do and uh, how you want to do it. Uh, Lori put up that list there where you can see some of what's going on. Now, I am going to try to adhere to uh, my promises I'm making in terms of time. So uh, I'm going to be backing out of here. Um, I'll go again as soon as I can. This one took a little bit longer than I had hoped. I tried to, I'm trying to do something about every three weeks here. Uh, we went probably about five weeks this time uh, before the last one. I'll try to get the next one as soon as I can. Uh, you could roughly estimate three weeks or so as a minimum. And we'll go on to the next subject. I hope that it's helpful and beneficial to you and worth your time. And I don't claim to have all the answers at all. I can only offer uh, that uh, from my own perspective. That's the best I can do. Um, but uh, everything is quite real to me. Uh, I wouldn't be spending my life and my time at this level of involvement unless I had uh, concern as a, a human being. Um, for our existence as well as basically uh, life of the planet. So, um, I'm done on my side. Uh, hope, um, hope we did okay. Uh, in terms of the moderator and the speaker, I'll mention three names again of people you can contact. Um, uh, if you want to ask questions or try to carry on with further contact, that will be Lori on there. You'll see Lori, Lori Kay or Lori Kramer. I, I hope Lee is still in there. Um, you can talk to Lee. And then uh, uh, Lorraine Hurley, Dr. Lorraine uh, Hurley is in here also. And uh, although she's uh, just at uh, sort of the onset of deciding her level of participation and, and involvement, I can only say I welcome it uh, greatly. And uh, I'm sure she would try to help at least the best uh, she can um, with the limited time that she knows about our particular methods and framework and that type of thing.